for some, not even a day for others. But now that we're into conference play, we've seen that the basketball has been taken to a whole nother level. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you in the paint. A fresh coat each and every Thursday. And, of course, that means it's Bill Raftery. And we welcome in the professor of college hoops, the onions of CBS, <laughs> if you will. I, I thought you'd appreciate that. Yeah, Thank get a, you, Jason. Get, get a little bit there for Poetic you. license. <laughs> Bill, you saw Kansas this past weekend. Let's get into the Jayhawks a little bit. They, they dominated Boston wow. College. Uh, they've won 29 of their last 30 games, with the loss being in the Elite Eight to UCLA in last year's tournament. In what ways are they different this year than last year? Rock Chalk Jayhawk, Jason. They are talented. Uh, going in, I thought maybe Carolina and Memphis could have been a little bit better after watching this team perform. You know, Arthur up front, Darrell Arthur is a very tough kid down on the block. They do a great job getting me the ball. Jackson, Darnell, another guy down there, strong, tough, long. But how about the perimeter defense? This is an outstanding defensive team. They get after you. Chambers has great hands. You know the ability of Robinson outside as well. They have about six steals a game. A rush up front. Tough matchup as a small forward. But I think it's all about their defense. They get after you. They contain you. They deny. They force you into tough shots. Hold you to a low field goal percentage. This team, I think, could do it all uh, this season. You said you thought it was Memphis and North Carolina before you saw them. Are, are they on par or maybe better than those two teams? Well, you know, I, I, we talked about it during the game. I, I still think Memphis might have top to bottom the great talent. Uh, I do think Kansas, for some reason, is together uh, defensively and in shot selection. And I think those are key things come tournament time. All right, well, Bill Self certainly has his squad in Lawrence in position to go deep in the Final Four. But the uh, school he left to go to Kansas, that's Illinois, certainly having some tough times. And uh, Bruce Weber's Illini last year, one of the last teams to make it into the NCAA tournament this year, struggling. Three consecutive losses all at home, heading into Thursday night's game with Wisconsin. Why has this team fallen so far this year, Bill? Jason, I'm sure you have the answers. I thought this was one of the sleeper teams. Uh, saw them early in the year. Thought they had an opportunity. Randall got nicked up a little bit, uh, an ankle problem. I think he has to play bigger and tougher. Uh, I, I think he's got the talent to do it. They run a lot of motion. Uh, they, were, they were a democracy on the offensive end. Maybe the guard play could improve a little bit more. But when you think of Bruce Weber, it's always about defense. Uh, some of the point totals are low, so they're having that end of the. They're having problems at that end of the floor too. But you know, if you get back to guarding. Uh, they always got good shots in the past, but I think the key, stop people, rebound, get some easy baskets, and I think that's what they need to do. Yeah, especially for a team that's 28% from beyond the arc. You're going to have to get some easy And don't baskets. forget, Gordon's not there. That's the other part of it. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's some, it's a, the recruiting class to them was a good one, would have been a great one. And unfortunately, he opted for Indiana, and that became a big controversy between the two universities and the two states. Yeah, of course it did. And Eric Gordon from the state of Illinois was supposed to go to the Illini and chose Indiana. They'll see each other this weekend, uh, but the game in Bloomington, not Champaign. All right, let's move to the ACC. Bill, what about Maryland? Uh, last year, 3-6 and six in the conference before making a run to be a four-seed in the tournament. This year, a much worse start overall than they had last year. Should Terps fans expect or maybe even hope for any type of run like they had last year? Do they have the talent to do that this year? Well, you know, I had a chance this morning to talk to Gary Williams about this uh, dilemma. Uh, they lost their top scorers last year. Uh, that is a dilemma for any team, and f uh, finding out how to score is a problem. Hayes has done a nice job. Vasquez has had good numbers. Osby up from Bombali Osby. You know, they, they, they've been solid, those people. But I think they need more people to step up. And knowing Gary, they need more out of their defense. They've been able to turn people over and get some easy baskets. But he thinks the key is learning how to score. He thinks they're going to do it. He thinks they've started to turn the corner a little bit. Well, Maryland has won four straight games heading into ACC play, but it is also a team that lost to Ohio and American University earlier in the season, so very up and down. Uh, I think the first time in 80 years, American U, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Although it, I think they've only played 14 times. It's still, that is, a, that is a long streak. That is one that predates you sure and me, is. Bill. So. All right, stay I did not do the first game, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do the last one either. Bill, stay right there. We'll get uh, in the paint part two in just a sec. And, uh, of course, we'll uh, talk about some of the uh, better situations, better teams around the nation. So, Bill, stay right there, sir. 
Folks, that's just part one of In the Paint. Be sure to navigate CBSSports.com and all over the CBS Audience Network to find part two. We'll discuss, among the good stuff, just how bad things are for Kentucky. All that's still to come on CBSSports.com and CBS Audience Network. For Bill Raftery, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.